Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and do a fun quick video for you and I thought I just wasn't sure what to do. I've got a list of videos to get through because I've got some new things but like I'm wearing them a bit more until I do like a first impressions and bits and bobs to do with makeup and stuff but I thought what's quick and simple to do when you're a bit rusty but a what's in my bag and look what we have here and this beautiful monogram palm springs mini backpack from louis vuitton it is the new version with the exposed zipper always interested in this bag i always thought it looked lovely uh, i had a few friends that had it but i'd never physically tried it on i like and everybody who has this bag really enjoys it's it my uh wish list but i i couldn't get it every time i checked whether it was like on the weekend late at night early in the morning middle of the night they never had one and i was really worried about if things are tricky to use even if i love the way they look i give up and i after the first few weeks, I just don't use them. And before, this flat bit here, like this trim, was longer and covered up this zip. And you would see people in reviews saying, I love this bag, but... And it was really hard to open and close the bag. And I just thought, that will drive me mad. Why are people putting up with that? So then, when they changed this bag and they actually revised this and i don't know some people are saying other things like that the tabs are stronger i don't know my tabs are already a tiny bit like frazzled um um like video chat my friend andre and she talked me through because all the bits of the straps were in the box separately and i was just like what is this you know anyway literally i tend to get an instinct there are different ways let me just say this how i form relationships with handbags it's either love at first sight, which this what actually was, or it's a slow brew. So, for example, like my Chanel reissue, um, very soon after buying it, I was just it just left me cold. I didn't understand it. I felt like it had no structure to it and it was going to fall apart because I was comparing it to my jumbo. And actually now I only love it because I've had the time to grow to get attached to it. So it, this was just one of those instant ones, like the Pochette Mati, like the Speedy, where I'm just like, oh my God, I love that bag. I, I, I get that always with my Louis Vuitton bags, actually. Um, so um, I expected it to be much stiffer. It's lovely, squishy canvas, padded in the back. This I expected to be a useless top handle. It's actually big enough for me to carry. Um, I was very, very impressed by the quality um, uh, let's talk about a few things. I still don't know really what this is all about and I don't really like it, but you can train it. I'm sitting on the shelf on and it's it's kind of starting to go back like that more. This front pocket I really wanted to be able to use and it's not as bad as people have said. Maybe they've made that better. So I feel like I lift that. The zip's really smooth and I don't find it super easy, but I don't find it super hard either. And in the front of there, I tend to put either my car fob for the few days or week that I'm carrying this around because I only need to go near the car. I don't need to actually open the pocket. But at the moment, it's got my AirPods, which are in a new um, wool, is it called Woolite or something? It's like a woven, um, it's a hard case, but it's got woven material to give it a soft touch and pale pink because the case I had before was silicon and it was really dirty and old and cheap. But this is like custom fit and so it's just much better. So my AirPods are in that front pocket. The main bit of the bag, I have, it's now becoming, when I see people pack this bag right to the top, it kind of makes me a bit nervous because I don't, I don't, you'll know by now with me that I underpack my bags. I like them to be light. I like to have room to put my hand in and find things. I don't like a bag packed to the brim because then you have to like take everything out like Jenga to find your things and I hate that. But it is a little bit full now-ish, like up to there. Um, but that's because I've been adding like hand creams and things to it. So I'm just gonna show you what's in there. So I put my phone case in just to show you that normally my phone would be in there and it would fit. Um, I tend to stand everything up quite tall instead of um, some people um, build like a pile of stuff from the bottom, I just tend to stand things up like that. And I find that I can fit more in here than I thought I would. So here we have my Damier Graffiti 6 key. My key pokes out a bit. Um, I tend to, um, because my house key now is this bloody special thick key because we have this special security locks on the door. So there's an ERA key and it's really fat. And so if the car fob sat on top of that, it, it doesn't really shut. So I put it on this thing to make it a bit longer. 
Um, but even though the car fob sticks out, it doesn't scratch anything because it's completely smooth. So there's that. Then we have some Tic Tacs. A hair bobble. Always got to have a hair bobble. I don't put a pouch for bits and bobs in here. I'll show you when I get to that what I use because I, if it's a small bag, I don't. I just put loose items in. Um, then we have um, a Louis Vuitton dust bag. This did this come with this? No, because it's the old brown writing. This um, is from a bandolier strap or something in the past, and I have this with me so that if I decide to wear it cross body, I can put the other strap in here. I don't like putting straps just loose in bags. Oh, this is nice. This is my new Glossier um, hand cream. It's like in a lovely soft touch silicon bottle and it smells like their perfume Glossier U. Love it. This is maybe going past the Chanel one in my favourites. I like them both. have a packet of um, Sunny wipes because I don't like having actual hand sanitizer gel spray or mousse in my bag because I think if it leaked it would ruin my bag and anything in my bag whereas these um, are drier but as long as this little plastic window stuck down so I have those but in my car in my console thing I have um, hand sanitizer and gloves and stuff and masks ready to go if I go somewhere and I need to put that on but these are just for, to wipe me or to wipe Cece gets in the car from school and wants to have a snack, so I wipe her hands with these before I give her the snack. Now, are you ready, guys? Because this is, like, pretty exciting to me anyway. Just breathe. Take a deep breath. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is the most beautiful SLG I've ever seen, and it's mine. Like, like I just love these mini wallets. I'm over big wallets. Um, I don't have many cards. It's got a pocket on the back, which I will try not to use unless I really need to because I don't want to stretch it out. Popper. It is soft gold hardware, but honestly, even in this day, it looks silver. But then when you see the back, that bit looks like a very, very pale gold. Um, it's got one um, little thing there where I put my card and then my lesser used cards and any cash or coins go in here. It is just perfection. It's so expensive now, Chanel, but just occasionally... I said I probably wouldn't buy any more Chanel bags, but just occasionally something comes it's along in the bottom of the bag. I have the Hermes lip balm. I'm underwhelmed. It's nice packaging. If you're a real Hermes fan, which I'm not majorly, I just got swallowed up with the hype and I didn't really want to buy a lipstick. They, they seem to all be quite bold shades, which is not my thing. I don't want to buy a lipstick online without really good swatches and stuff. So I just went with the balm and it's OK, but it's definitely not amazing. The one thing I do like is it's quite solid. Um, some of my other favourite lip balms, in summer anyway, are quite melty. Like my Fresh Sugar, the mint one, I love it, but you almost need to keep it in the fridge in the summer. You, If you left it in your car, in the cup holder, it would just be a pool of oil by the time you go back to your car. This is quite solid, even when it's warm, which is good. And then, oh, this is just so tragic. This is uh, one of my top five, like, ride or die products. It's become a bit of a security blanket or something for me and it's benefit Ula lift it's not a concealer it's um like just a um slightly lilac brightener for under the eye and the reason i love it is because it doesn't leave any kind of like you can even see that glow there look they've discontinued it so this is it and there's not much left and i went to buy it today online and realized it was discontinued because i bought two together so it's lasted a long time so it's over a year since I've tried to buy one and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do because I can't live without this. There's no other under eye brighteners that aren't correctors that don't have some sort of concealing stuff in them. I just want to brighten. I don't want to chiclet. I don't want anything that makes me look old. This doesn't go in lines. This isn't concealer. It just brightens. It's not cakey. Oh. If you know anything that that is a good dupe for this please leave a comment because i today i've bought a couple of things but i know they're not going to be as good and then in the back of the bag so it's just like a cotton lining and it's black and although the bag's small it's quite hard to see your things down there which is why i like bright wallets and things but in this back pocket which is quite tight i've actually put a little smorga thing because it's bright pink i've slipped it down into there and it makes it easier to 
she says, can't get it out. Can you see? And all I've got in there is um, a little pot of um, like a Vix inhaler because me and my husband for about a week and a half have had sinus headaches from the weather and stuff and we're just I'm not getting anything done and we're just mm, all the time. And then in here is my pill pot and it's got like antihistamines, ibuprofen, um, which is like Advil and a couple of flu tablets. And they're in this little felt thing in the back which makes that pocket like push out a bit and it's also bright pink so when I look in it I can see my thing. So I managed to fit, let's just keep it real a minute. Honestly, I put that thing in the pocket and I can't bloody get it out now. It's such a snug fit. Right, we won't be doing that again then maybe. Okay. Oh, B. So professional. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it all in my hand. This is so long, this video. Oh my goodness, look. All of this easily, by the way, easily fits in the Palm Springs Mini. That's quite good, no? I think so. Um, just going to put this all down. Oh my gosh. Dropping stuff everywhere. So this look at and the zip is just it's weird because it's empty now, but just easy. And you can even put things in this pocket. I mean I wouldn't put anything in that pocket that I want to get in and out all day, but something in there that's just gonna stay there for and you can maybe get it once a day max. It's not that irritating. The straps. So I have got it set on the shortest backpack strap it sits kind of a bit in the dip at the base of your back it's not like a up here backpack but because it's so small I think that's more flattering and elongating on me anyway it's really comfortable it doesn't fall off my shoulders um, I've been wearing it often by having I thought I'd wear it cross body a lot and I haven't really so far if I do wear it cross body these are really thin I tend to put these away and use a thicker black strap that comes with my um, pochette Matisse, which is also in black leather, um, and hook it uh, across, not on these two, but like that and that, so it sort of sits like on an angle. Um, but I just, you generally have the straps ooh, like this, which really surprises me. And if I'm just doing quick errands and I don't want to put it on my back, like I'm just in and out of the car, I tend to just hold the two like that and sling it, both of them over my shoulder. And I've just been wearing it like that a lot or hand carrying it. I am, it's just exciting and fun to carry. And I'm really glad I finally have it. I'm sorry this video is so long, but it was like a bit of a review and then what's in my bag. Um, it fits more than I thought. It doesn't feel silly. It feels more sophisticated than I thought it was gonna feel. Like the way that the trim, I really like monogram with black trim. It's made me want to get the uh, Palace. Is it the Palace BB? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I just really, I love how chunky it is. I just, I love everything about it. Um, what else to say? Yeah, I'm just pleasantly surprised, I guess, by how well made it is. And then when, I know my friend helped me check it over that the pattern was in the middle lined up and all that stuff. and and she made me check the stitching and the it's just really good um and it's fun and practical so i i can't see me ever not having this little baby in my collection i know i've said that about a lot of things i, th I think i've got a reputation for selling a lot i really have still got a lot of bags that i've had for a long time but i do constantly refine it yeah if you want new things that you think you learn and you think that's not really working What's wrong with letting something go to get something that really works for you? Um, and so basically this was funded by letting go. You could argue I decided to let the, because I have this one in one out rule and I take it really seriously. Otherwise I'm a shopaholic and this house would be full of stuff. So I decided that I wanted a small, fun, practical bag and I'd rather have one wallet on chain and this than two wallet on chains. So I sold the wallet on chain in a way the boy wanted to get this. And I think this is a better, everyday bag for me because it holds more you can carry it in lots of different ways and it's just really fun so um i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next 
Um, I have a new tote to share with you. I also have bought um, the other two bags that I've bought recently. I did buy some more of the organizers for them and I have a 20% off discount code for you guys to use. Um, and yeah, and so I'm just gonna switch into the tote and use that for a week before I do a video about that one for my first impressions. And then the other bag that I bought, um, that will be a few weeks till I kind of talk about that one because I need to get used to it and um, I wasn't sure at first and there was it was faulty and it had to go back so we'll do a story time about that one but yeah I'm really happy and then also I need to talk about um, the my first impression of the several um, Louis Vuitton SLGs that I picked up lately that's one area where I'm a bit cross with myself I downsized and refined my bag collection I sold five bags and replace them with three bags so that's a net clear out of two bags which is a positive thing but I have bought five oh my goodness hang on one two three four five six SLGs in the last six weeks whoops I sent one back that didn't work for me and got something else so yeah five all together actually so um yeah I'm just slg obsessed at the minute so yeah there's a few new things coming up and i hope you're gonna come back please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me please give me a thumbs up to keep me going and leave a comment down below especially if you've got some other kind of eye brightener recommendations um whether it be patches that you put on in the morning or um, like a some sort of eye brightening morning eye cream but I want something that instantly makes my eyes look brighter not like a treatment eye cream and um, oh and I also filmed yeah what's in my makeup bag what I'm using just every day at the moment it's been the same for a few weeks so I thought I'd share that anyway have a great rest of your weekend and if you're here in the UK happy Father's Day to any dads out there tomorrow and I'll see you next time bye